my favorite artist that I've worked with so far is probably Lil Keep. Rest in peace. Um, Rest in peace, Lil A Keith. real humble, real genuine person. You couldn't if you couldn't you you wouldn't know that he was who he was if you had just met him on the street. Like you mm. know, if he's genuine, solid dude. He would you know we went and hung out after the after the shoot before the shoot. Um, he came up to me. He introduced himself, even though I was the one you know coming to Atlanta to work with him. Um, I mean, he was just a real humble dude, and that, you don't find that shit a lot in the industry because people, you know, get to a certain point and they become big headed and start to forget that they're people too. Yeah, you know what I mean, so that was one of my favorites. Lil Yachty was a super dope guy too, real genuine. That video is crazy, bro. Yeah, Lil Yachty was a super genuine person. I respect what he did, and I respect what he's doing still to this day. Shit, um, my cowboy feature that came because he liked the song. Um, Really? Yeah, I wasn't actually in the building when the song got played for him. He just jumped on it, and they sent it back to me, and I was like, damn. Yeah. That's dope. That's actually the first song I played. And it, I, it's crazy because I think that that's my best feature, like, as far as, like, matching the energy, energy that I brought to a song. Yeah. Like, I feel like he really bodied that shit. Um, for sure. For sure. No, not no shade to Cowboy. Or, I'm not no shade to Keith or, or to Yachty or nothing like that. It just... With that song, it seemed like he liked the song enough to put the effort. Like, he wanted to do that shit. Yeah, know? like, he wanted to kill it. Yeah, super genuine I, person, man. Dope, dope guy. Um, my manager put that. He set that play up for